Legend of Total War here with part 60 of my Europa Barbarorum Let's Play campaign as the Seleucid Empire. Um, previously we've just been primarily focusing on the Macedonians. We've pushed them back down to their last two settlements, but they've still got a considerable uh, uh, strength to them. I'm just going to bring the spy down over here so I can actually see what we're going to be up against. Oh, whoops. Um, even that I can't really see. Very low chance of success spying on him. Well, whatever it is. Oh, he's getting old. Um, I think we can beat him. Let's see. Yep, so the balance of power is in our favor. There's those cavalry we've been trying to get rid of. Because they got so much experience. Okay, well, it's a full stack, but it's not actually full. A lot of their units are beaten to shit. And some of them are very weak. Alright, so we sh Even though we've got the smaller army... I Actually, I don't even know that. It's true. Well, whatever. We've also got some Slinger reinforcements coming in. Um, not this turn, maybe the next turn. If they can get to the settlement. If we win here, we we might be able to besiege Thermon. Kicking them out of Greece entirely, then we just need to eliminate them at Anatolia. Today is a green day oh, God damn it. Alright, this map here. Although we start off with a nice big high ground, which I guess is good. Um... Goddamn trees everywhere. I really want to set up a raid here. To set up there for now, well, then we'll, we'll rush to the where we need to go. I don't want to sacrifice these guys. That could be good to like recover units that we do need. Send them in late in the battle. Don't want you firing at will. You've only got so much ammunition, we need to make sure we're hitting good targets. Alright, so what we want to do is really claim the high ground right away. And make sure we're nice and wide so they don't try and flank us. Should we get all the way to the red line? Nah, the red line's ages away. We don't need to do that. Get to about there. Oh, hang on. There. You can see them coming this way. Okay, now because we've got a nice high ground advantage, we can have our slingers position behind the pikes on this one. Because they'll shoot over their heads. And they'll also have a range bonus. Which I'd like to shoot their general if we can. Look, they're almost in range already. They are in range. Still, I want them to get that position there because that's going to be very hard for them to counterattack. <laughs> Excuse me. Alright. You guys come down here as well, not to shoot. Just come and stand there. Same with you, just protect this flank. <coughs> Alright. Just wait for them to stop moving and then we'll shoot their general. If we can kill him, not, not only are we taking out a powerful unit, but it's going to be a lot easier to break their forces. See how this goes shooting. Oh man, that's absolutely wrecking him because we've got such a massive high ground. It's it does so much more damage. It's gravity doing its work before it was fully understood. Fantastic. And then running around like this, this is going to make it easy because we're probably hitting them in the flank as well. Which doesn't seem to make any difference. Also, these guys having so much experience, yeah, it's just absolutely wrecking them. I reckon he'll die, and then maybe we'll get a few more kills, and then these guys will just run away. Because the situation here is, is, is very bad. We have got a big high ground. It's not often we get this kind of advantage. Fuck yeah, I will use it. Why not? I believe this is also their faction leader, so we're good to kill a Macedonian king. 
That's no boss. It always gets hardest to kill those last few. These are shock caps, so they don't, they don't even have um, shields. Only the general has a shield. Alright now, what we gotta do? Kill him. Looks like they're trying to send some guys at us as, as well, but they're not gonna do any damage. Good stuff. We've used up half of our ammunition, but I'm happy with that. Okay, Hellenic Medium Cavalry, shoot them next. Now we go for the cavalry, for one thing because cavalry are high value targets, and secondly because they're very much vulnerable to slinger shot. Where are those skirmisher cav? But oh, whatever. We're getting getting other kills in here as well. From other units. As in we're killing other battalions, not just the ones we're targeting. So that's good. Kinda wish I had brought more slingers, but they couldn't make it to the fight. There's another load of cavalry right here. I think that's another general He's getting killed. Well, that's good. Because they brought two generals. Yeah, don't waste ammunition on light trips like that when we've got the high ground. One thing I really wish we did have was a bit of cavalry. I mean, I could have hired some mercenaries, but... Eh. Are there any better targets? Well, we can't really see much of what they do have. And that seems to be good enough. We Looks like we're killing all of their general's bodyguard as well. The other general. Nice set of ammo. Okay, completely out of ammo now. But that's given us a 12% advantage. Now, as for these guys. Oh, wait a minute, Pike's down. Alright, um, now we just need to march forward. Are we not in proper formation yet? Alright, just begin walking down. Why is there a gap there? Alright, stop. I don't know why there's a gap, but we're gonna we're gonna fix that. And they did it again. All right, stop. What the fuck is going on here? I don't like that. Do as you're goddamn well told, and just march forward. Now, when we get down to here, the, our high ground advantage isn't going to be quite as high. But it's fine. Considering what we've done here, that's great. I mean, they're going to have low morale. Because the general, their king is dead. The only units that will probably put up somewhat of a fight will be the phalanxes, as per the usual. These guys could be quite useful in this to help break them and actually even run down the enemy units. They're quite good at it. Now, one problem is 
Um, because it's all forested, I'm not going to be able to see if they send someone around the flank to go after my slingers or, or these guys here. But I also don't really care if they do. That's why I was trying to get rid of their cavalry so they didn't do that. But I didn't have enough ammunition for all their cav. Well, apparently we're walking into someone, but it's hard to tell. Moving down, they're matching our line. Of course, they've got more units than, than we do. We don't want to overstretch ourselves so that we, you know, make sure they can't get around us. So that's their skirmisher cav right down there. I'm gonna bring these guys down, maybe I can shoot them. Because I think that they're gonna be a problem, just a, a complete nuisance. Because they'll be they'll be as good in melee as their medium cav. Because of all their experience. I want you to stay, come around over here, and I reckon these guys here are pretty close to breaking. If they see these, they might just break. So, stand closer and then you can fire at will. Actually no, no, don't fire at will, I'll tell you what to shoot, otherwise I might shoot something else. Make sure your shots are, you know, actually good. Yeah, it's kind of shit. Whatever, it's killing some of them. You get into the combat with him, and we'll try and use these guys to uh, to terrify them at the same time. We'll deal with this just a little bit at a time because all this forest and shit this is just going to get on my nerves. Make sure you stay close by here because otherwise they're going to be too scared. really trying to avoid us. I feel like if I, if I charge in here, I'm just going to end up getting these guys killed. They're wavering though. God, if I had more cavalry, this wouldn't be a problem. What's going on here? Good, keep their ass. I think these guys are pretty much running away now. Let's let's do a bit of a bonsai. Just just charge on in. 
Even if, oh shit, even if it's not in Phalanx formation, just, just go right in. <laughs> Breaking as fast as I want them to, come on. He's taking a bit of damage. Pike it up. Right. Well, you guys, pike it up now. Here we going over here. We breaking them. Yep. That's it. Don't forget to run them down as well. Send them into combat as well. Gotta run them down. And all these guys over here, there's no way we're gonna kill bloody 85% of them, but let's just get a mass route, get it over with. We've lost jack shit and they've already lost half their army. Best we just charge in here before they just decide to withdraw. Come on, come on, chariots over here. A ton of them trying to get away. Ha chariots are very hard to control. Okay, the fight seems to be mostly going on over here now. What are you guys doing? Right, come down here. This is where we need to be. Where's the general? What's he doing? Is it? Run them down. That's fine. What are you doing? What are you doing? Yeah, you're under threat. That's okay. Backup's coming. Fucking hell, I hate the slowness of Pikeman. What are you doing? How about you get down here and help us break them? Before this guy's dead. They're all breaking now. I just can't control these guys. Sit, so they are out of here. So how are we going now? Kill with some more cavalry. We got a really good route going on, but what can we do? We can't really run them all down. I can't even see where they are. Just a big mess now. Break them. As you can see, they're very hard to control. Tell them to go somewhere, they just they really dick around a lot. I want you to kill this guy here. their generals. You should have no trouble killing him. Fuck him. You'll never catch him. Just let him go. Run these guys down instead. Send these guys in to, to run them down as well. But oh, I don't even know where they are. Yet. 
run this unit down. I don't know. I just need to keep him out of danger. Units that are fighting to the death. They'll bloody beat the chariots. How are we going now? 75%. And we've lost 8%. So that, that went very well, I think. Absolute chaos. And most of them seem to be trying to get away now. There's a few units left over. Alright, well let's, let's break them. Yeah, you should be able to deal with him. Even if you are exhausted. Good, they're just still running down people over here. Yep, keep it up. Okay, maybe that's not going to work. Need some more troops. You come over here, I'll fight them. And where else do I have pikes? Get over here and help. They don't seem to be dismayed by loss of the battle just yet. Even though they should be, they've lost fucking tons of their troops. Maybe they actually have to wait until 85% of them is actually dead before they become dismayed. Those will be easier to break than these. What's going on over here? Alright, now we just try and run down as many of them as we can. It's not going to destroy the entire army even if we do get 85% because one of their generals got away. We didn't really prioritize trying to kill him. I don't think we would have caught him if we did try. They're actually quite good at running down enemy units. Okay, now where did that other one go? Oh, they've, they've dealt with him. Good. Only 7% of them remain. It's nothing. Thurman's going to be very easy to take now. Okay, is that the end of the battle or what? Well, it looks like they've all left, so I don't know. I'll just exit. Nice 10 to 1 kill ratio there. And all the recovery went into the phalanxes. Okay, yeah, we didn't take that many casualties. Right, yeah, it's all good. Definitely well done to the Slingers for taking out the enemy general straight away. But that battlefield was definitely in our advantage. If we had done a bad job of that one, it would have been embarrassing. Alright, let's see here. I'm going to spread some of the experience and send one of them back. For retraining. Oh, and you know what? You can come with us. There's, there's no danger of him actually getting disbanded. My Lord. Send the chariot to besiege it. Well, oh, they've got large stone walls. 
settlement under siege, sir. Which is the largest you can get in this campaign. Attack. Settlement under siege, sir. More dead? Well, that's going to be a time-consuming battle, but certainly one we can handle. There's only one of them left. All right, well, that's easy enough to deal with. That really shouldn't be a problem for us to take. Now, taking this settlement here, that's going to be a bit of an issue because we can't leave here just yet. I'm going to send these guys to Pergamon. Keep these guys together. You need to be retrained. Although it's quite possible that these guys will try and besiege Ipsos, but I'll send them over there to, to stop him if that's the case. I've certainly got enough reinforcements to um, maybe send some back over here. He needs to be retrained. So I'll send them by foot. Yes, Stratigos. Move out. No more moves, sir. Yeah, whatever. Alright, so now what? Now we build. We've got 14,000 to spend. I've already built. Okay, so then we retrain. And move on. Alright then. What to do now? Well, we've got, to, uh, we've got this battle to do. And I don't know what they're doing. They're just doing nothing, which is fine by me for now. Maybe they're raising more forces here. I don't know. We could starve them in there, but that'd be eight more turns. And anyway, there's no reason why we couldn't assault this. Just take the walls. Have the walls shoot back down at them. And maybe sling a death them if we can. So it's a large city, definitely worth taking sooner rather than later. I wonder, out of curiosity. Hmm. No, we need more forces here. I'll wait for reinforcements before I go after that settlement. My lord! My lord! Forward! Okay, we're right. Under half hour. Yes, oh, fuck. I'm worried that if I attack this, it's going to cause a crash. So we'll have to do it next time. Ships ready. Yes, right, sir. Let's sail these guys. Let's fire out this way as we can. Yes, sir. Splitting the troops. It's much quicker. Off the boats. Prepare to ambush. Ships ready. Sir. March. I uh, could send him. Sir. By Ready. ship, but it's fine. Our forces over here are getting ready. Ready for the fight against Bactria. Again, with that one, not much of a rush. I'm not... I keep forgetting about some of these units, I think, but... Like I said, not a big deal. Could be good to give these guys a bit of a rest. Where'd the other army go? It's in here. That's it. Whatever. Alright, so if we leave... I think I need to leave three behind. Nope, need to leave more than that. That's fine, I don't want to use them up against... Um, Bactria anyway. These guys here will be more than sufficient. Oh, whoops. Doesn't matter. And what about you? How long do you need to stay here for? Well, let's see if we can take some of these out. Okay, good. It's under control just with that. It's not a full garrison, so I'll leave another one behind. My lord. 
and then it should be just fine, which is great. But you as a governor... You old, so you can just stay here, I guess. And we'll send these guys down so they can assist with the assault. I'm just going to merge everything there. I reckon this fight against Bactria is going to be very easy. I mean, we're ready for them. Alright, let's build some stuff and then we'll end the video there. So let's have a look. Where's Marikanda? Still recruiting these here because it's got public order issues, but that's fine. We can send these guys into combat if we recruit too many. Out of curiosity, can we get pikes here? No. Big issue here is public order. I guess we got plenty of money, just build that. That only takes one turn, provides a bit of happiness. Good to see these settlements are growing. Jeez, we didn't have to build much at all this turn. How are we going at Tarsus? Is that mining nearly built? Sort of. It's getting there. Don't tell me you were just standing there during that whole turn. Possibly, but I don't know. What to do with you? You, um, I'm sure I'm going to have to send units back for retraining at some point, so you might as well just stay there. Sending them around this way is not going to help. I reckon when we're at Ubar, we'll be there for a little while before we can take on the Arabs because we don't want to take them on until we're absolutely ready. We've only brought one army because I felt that that was enough. The biggest problem with taking on any of these these distant enemies is it's always the public order of their settlements that when we conquer them, not necessarily the strength of their armies. Anyway guys, that's the end of this episode, so like and subscribe, part 61's next, and don't forget to visit me on Facebook. See you next time, fuckers.